before I get started and you know you'll be updated on all the videos that I'll post when I can I'm sorry I don't post a lot of videos on here I will though yeah let's let's get into it I hope you like this video um keep 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 in tune keep tuned keep stay tuned stay tuned <laughs> more DIY videos. Yeah. All right, getting right into it. This is the pair that I already did. I'm gonna show you guys how not to do this right here, but um, I lost a lot of footage, um, especially the footage of taking the buckles off. Guys, it was so easy taking the buckles off. You literally can pop them off and put them back on. I'll show you guys how to pop the buckle back on later, but I got my inspiration for these slides from a little boutique I follow on Instagram. I don't remember their name, but I will link, um, I will put their link in the description box below so you can check them out. But for this project, I went to Five Below and I got these slides for $5 and I got my bandana from Walmart. Um, you should have some scissors laying around the house somewhere and you can buy a hot glue gun from literally anywhere girl. For this project, I only use two bandanas, one bandana for each shoe. As you can see, I already did the other side of the side, but um, the first thing you want to do is cut your bandana into four. One half of the bandana will be for um, the coating of the shoe, the base uh, on the straps, and then the other half will be for the bows, and I'll show you how to put those on later um, but right now I'm going to show you how to hot glue on the straps all right so after you finish cutting your bandana um, this part is really really important because uh, I feel like I have to explain this do not cut the bandana and put the bandana just directly on there uh, right here what you see me doing is folding the bandana and uh, on the edge so it's not like a frayed edge because one thing this bandana is going to do is fray and you don't want to walk around with a whole bunch of fabric fraying off of your shoe so um, I folded it and I placed it I don't I hope you guys can understand this but I placed it on um, there with a hot glue gun and right now you see me just going across the hem or uh, the hem putting the hem across the bottom of the shoe um, I didn't go all the way down on the shoe because I still wanted the the sole to be white so um, you see me doing that and taking it all the way to the end of the strap where the strap stops and when you get to the end, you're gonna fold it in and hot glue it and press it down at the end. I really, really, really hope that made sense. Moving right along, um, one thing I also want to note to you guys, do not hot glue the outside of the shoe because it will, the hot glue will come through the fabric and you'll see the hot glue from the outside. So we're only gonna hot glue the inside of the shoe. So that's what you see me do here. 
hot glue on the inside of the shoe, folding it over, making sure it's seamless, and cutting the excess fabric. We're going to cut in the middle here uh, where the straps divide, and we're going to fold it over and hot glue, like I said, the inside strap. All right, so at this point, um, you're done gluing down the sides. What you wanna do for the top is just fold the um, excess piece at the top down and hot glue it down, like kind of like an envelope, just like fold it and hot glue it down. Simple as that. And just repeat the same step for the other strap. And then I'll show you guys how to put the buckles back on as well as put the bow on. All right, so I want y'all to get into this nice, clean fold, okay? You see it? Nice and clean. Go ahead and glue it down. You you want you don't want the frayed ends. You want a nice, clean fold, all right? Very, very important to make sure the shoe looks professionally done, okay? Like you bought it from the store. Okay, so now that you've finished that part, you want to poke the holes back into where they're supposed to be. Um, good thing the fabric is very easy. Just use the end of your scissors. After you finish putting the buckles on, what you'll see me doing here is poking the holes on the other side of the straps um, so that you can have holes to use for the buckles. Um, and then you see me cutting off any excess fabric so that you can actually see the inside of the holes where the holes are supposed to be. Alright, and the last step is the bows. I took some extra bandana fabric and cut two thin little pieces um, of fabric and I put that to the side. And then what you do is you take the other half of the bandana that you haven't used yet, cut it in half, and you'll use each half for the bandana. What you'll see me do here is fold both sides of the bandana in all four ways so fold up fold down fold left fold right and then scrunch it in the middle and tie it that's literally it <laughs> okay you want to make two bows for each strap of the shoe and then hot glue it on there I'll show you how to do that in a second hold on
All right, so boom, what you're going to do is you take the hot glue, put a little bit at the end, you know, at the bottom of the, of the bow, and you stick it right in the middle. Hold it down until you feel like it's dry. And that's it, boo. That's it. The shoes, the shoes is done, shorty. You put them on your feet and go, okay? Yes, get as many compliments as you can, honey. Tell them who made your shoes. Say I did, yeah, me, 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 me. I made these shoes. Go out and you floss. And you floss, okay? You do that. But make sure you give this video a thumbs up first. I really hope y'all like this video. I hope um, this was helpful. If you do decide to try these, tag me in them. Let me see. I would love to see how they come out for you. Um, but yeah, comment, like, subscribe. That's it. I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. It's over now. Bye.